You've decided to write a book. Great. Now, do you want to write your book the hard way or the easy way? Writing a book is not easy. I've finished 10 of them, but I've also started half written and have unfinished 25 others. If writing a book was easy, I would have finished all of them. Writing a book will take weeks, months, and possibly a full year of your life. My shortest book took two hours, but that's a children's story. My longest book took six months to write. And while I wrote this book in a week, it took five years of research to be able to do that. When I'm writing my books, it captures my entire attention. I'm thinking about it all the time. When I go to bed, I may not fall asleep because I'm thinking about my book. In the middle of the night, I might wake up because I'm thinking about my book. And sometimes in the morning, I wake up and I'm just too tired to write because I've been thinking about my book. If you want easy, don't write a book. But if you do want to write a book, make it easier by going about it the right way. There's no point making it more difficult than it needs to be. So when we say hard and easy, what are we talking about? What is the hard way to write a book? And what's the easy way to write a book? The hard way is when you're struggling to get the ideas out of your head and onto your screen. It's not being able to find clear time to write. And when you do have clear time to write, it's not being able to focus. It's writing multiple drafts of your book because you're not clear what you're writing about. And it's forcing yourself to write to a schedule that just doesn't suit you. Take a moment to write down your answers to these two questions. What's going to be hard about writing your book? And how can you make it easier? Your book writing project will be easier if you're clear on what you're writing about and how you're going to write it. There are three elements here. The first one is your focus, what to focus on and how to focus on it. The second is being distracted. You need to eliminate the things that are going to stop you from writing and writing well. And the third is to streamline your workflow. You need a consistent, steady, reliable process that will help you get the ideas out of your head and into your book. If you fail in one or more of these areas, you may not finish your book. I find the best way to achieve this is with a little pre-planning. In other words, to have a good game plan. As I keep saying, what's the number one thing that elite athletes do before they head out onto the field? They create a game plan for how they're going to win. To write and finish your book in an easy way, you need a game plan too. This video is part three in our part four part series on the game plan for authors. In part one, we talked about how to win. You need to be clear about winning looks like before you start writing your book. In part two, we talked about measuring your progress and keeping score. This is the best way to manage your motivation so you're more likely to finish your book. The third part of your game plan focuses on focus. And in terms of gameplay, this comes down to having rules to follow. You need to design the rules of your book writing project so that it makes it easier for you to write and finish your project. The tricky part is if you're writing your book for the first time, you might not know what works best for you. My advice here is not to overthink this. Write down a couple of ideas that appeal to you, then try them out. If they work, keep doing them. If they don't work, change them or toss them in the bin. If you're not sure what book writing rules to follow, the good news is there's a whole bunch of research and writing and articles about famous authors and how they wrote their books. James Clear of Atomic Habits fame has written a great blog post with 10 examples on it. Here are three you might want to steal and use. E.B. White said, I never listen to music while I write. I don't either. Haruki Murakami gets up at four o'clock in the morning and writes for five or six hours straight. Then he's done for the day. 
I definitely don't get up at four o'clock in the morning, but I do write first thing. That's my first activity for the day. And Ernest Hemingway has a rule of writing every single day. So do I. What sort of rules do you need to make it easier for you to write and finish your book? There are three levels to create rules at and two types of rules to create. The three levels are, first, your book project. In the video, Answer This Before You Start Writing Your Book, we talked about the importance of punching through the book. In other words, what results do you want your book to produce? Second is your book. What is your book about? What is the deadline? Is it going to be a digital book or a print book? Describe your book in as much detail as possible to help you focus on writing the right book. And third is your book writing process. How are you going to get your book written? Are you going to wake up at 4 a.m. in the morning to write your book? Or are you going to dictate it while you commute to your day job? Now for the two types of rules. In any game or sporting contest, there are always rules that decide what's in the game and what's out of the game. In tennis, there are lines painted on the court. If the ball lands inside the lines, then the game goes on. But if you hit the ball outside the line, the game stops and you lose the point. These are boundary rules. By being clear on the boundaries or the limits of your book writing project, you can instantly ignore a lot of possible distractions. And this instantly sharpens your focus on what's important. The key to boundary rules is to think about what's in and what's out. What's inside your book or your book project and what's outside of it, the things you don't have to worry about. For instance, in my book Done, there's a whole bunch of things I could have wrote about in terms of productivity and getting your projects done. But I tended to focus on the seven rules of done as my framework. That meant I didn't have to talk about all that other stuff. Another way to think about this is beginnings and endings. What will your book look like when it's finished? For example, when does your project start? When does it end? What type of book are you writing? And are you printing your book or is it a digital book? The second type of rules are the rules of play. Every game has rules and they shape how the game is played. Did you know there are at least five different types of football? Naturally, they all have different rules. Well, that's probably obvious because if they had the same rules, they'd be the same game, wouldn't they? For instance, in the world game of football or soccer, the, only the goalkeeper can pick up the ball in his hands. But in the other codes of football, you can happily pick up the ball with your hands. Your rules for writing your book will naturally include your writing process. How will you get the ideas out of your head and into your book in a clear way? Here your rules might include specific actions that you can and will take, actions that are banned from the game that you won't take, plus how you want to behave during the game. A great example of rules of play for authors is by painter and author Henry Miller. He wrote 11 commandments for getting his work done. Ideally, you want to think about your rules of play through the three lenses of building focus, eliminating distractions, and streamlining your process. You might want to sit down and jot some notes under each of these headings to kickstart the rules for your book writing game. Have some fun with this. The key goal here with the rules is to find your best way to write your best book in the easiest manner. You want to build focus, eliminate distractions and streamline your process. And the big lesson here is that you are the author of your own destiny. You have choice here. They are your rules. You are the one creating them. You are the one living by them. And remember, your rules are intended to support you in writing your book. If they don't, change them or get rid of them. In the next video, the fourth <laughs> and final chapter in our series on game plan for authors, we'll talk about how you can write your book faster. The faster you can write the book, 
the sooner you can earn money from it, build your reputation and showcase your expertise. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.